Tonight on the school assignment, sending shockwaves through the community. Fourth graders at Waxhaw Elementary were given roles from the Civil War and were instructed to write tweets from those perspectives. Well, those tweets included hashtags that said things like slavery for life. Tonight, outrage from parents and the superintendent alike. WCNC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes joins us from Waxhaw Elementary. The superintendent issuing a statement today calling the assignment insensitive, inappropriate, and unacceptable. There are no students in class here today, but he says this is proof that work has to continue in these classrooms and beyond. An assignment on the Civil War causing a deep divide tonight. Fourth graders told to write tweets in the voice of people who lived during that time. There's so much wrong with this. The teacher told the kids to pick their proudest tweets and shared them on the wall in the school's hallway for every fourth and fifth grader to see. You have these kids walking by this every single day. Words like slavery for life, slavery forever, then shared on the school's public social media page. This is a slap in the face. I cannot believe this. Not a single tweet shown was anti-slavery. Parents say children were just given a lesson that racism. There's nothing else to call it. I mean, there's no second side of this coin. Is alive and well in their own school. If you believe as an educator, as an administrator, that this is okay to display within the school outwardly, to display on social media, what other aggressions are being driven within that classroom? Union County school leadership issued a stern statement rebuking the assignment, ordering the Twitter wall taken down, and immediately held a school-wide staff meeting. Finally, for the first time, I felt like Union County Public school Schools took ownership. Because racial insensitivity on social media, deja vu for people who've been around Union County for a while. Last year, a board member resigned after sharing multiple racially inappropriate posts on Facebook. In response, the school board created a diversity and inclusion committee. Kimberly Morrison Hansley is a member of it. It even just reemphasized um, the importance of this group. Hansley says the immediate response to the Civil War assignment is a step in the right direction. That's how we start. That's how we make, we can measure growth. Other parents in the area say the assignment never should have happened in the first place. We trust the school system and the educators in the school system to do what they're supposed to do. And this is a clear violation of that trust. The superintendent also saying any lessons like this one have no place in Union County schools. And he apologized to the school members, to the parents, to the students, and the people in the community. Reporting at Waxhaw Elementary, I'm Tanya Mendes, WCNC Charlotte.